Welcome back, everybody, to the last interview for the Mountain Morning Show. Now, I think I can speak for everybody when we say we have that one friend that we love them, but they're not necessarily the best for us, and they kind of get us into sticky situations. Our next film is the comedy Bernard and Huey. All right, I am joined by actress Shasha Alexander, director Dan Mervish, and actor Jake O'Connor. That's right. Boom. <laughs> I remembered it. Boom. Very nice, Conrad. <laughs> All right, so Dan, you are the co-founder of Slam Dance. Yes. This is the closing movie for Slam Dance. Yes. Why did you want to make a movie about Bernard and Huey? Because these are actually characters that have been around since 1957, I believe. Exactly, yeah. The, uh, the script was written by Oscar Pulitzer winner Jules Pfeiffer, who wrote uh, such amazing films as uh, Carnal Knowledge, the Mike Nichols film and Popeye, the Robert Altman film, and uh, I'd read a, an interview with him that said he had several unproduced screenplays, and uh, so I tracked him down. He's, uh, he's 88, he turns 89 this week, lives out in the Hamptons. Oh, so he's young and sprite, he, <laughs> joyful. He and really yeah. is, actually, yeah. He's still doing writing graphic novels and plays, and he said, yeah, I think I've got some, uh, some, uh, some screenplays, but it took us a year and a half to find the screenplay, and then another year and a half to make sure we could really get the rights and make it, and then he's like, I'm 88, let's make this thing already. And and it was so kickstarted. Yeah, yeah. This was, uh, yeah. We we started with a Kickstarter campaign, and uh, a lot of Slam Dance alumni helped contribute uh, to that. And um, yeah, because that's because my feeling on independent film is you don't wait. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you you use Kickstarter, and it's Kickstarter, not Kick Finisher. You know, you don't raise the whole budget that way. But that's kind of how we started the process and and got the ball rolling on it. Perfect. And then Sasha, yes. who is your character in the film? Well, I play Roz, okay. and Roz is best friends with Bernard. She's also, you know, a therapist in life, but they're best friends with benefits, you could say. And so she's, she's, you know, I think that she's absolutely in love with Bernard, but I don't know that he's mature enough yet, at the, or evolved enough to recognize what's really, you know, the relationship he has in front of him. So she's there to sort of... How would you say? <laughs> she's, she's the main character. Uh, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. Of course. Yeah. And and then, what kind of comedy would you say this film is? Is it more slapstick? Is it no. dark comedy? It's uh, probably somewhere in the middle. Jake, you want to take this? You're funny. Yeah. Oh, thank you. <laughs> um, I'd say it's closer to the side of dark comedy. There's a lot of the humor coming from pain, even though it's if it's not obvious necessarily. Yeah. Um, yeah in I'm, all of the moments, but. Yeah, we have some of the best, you know, comedic actors working in the film. Yeah, uh, David the, the cast is great. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I mean, it, it's it's not just a small indie film. I mean, there's some recognizable faces from sure Hollywood in Yeah, David Koechner from the Anchorman movies, who's also had a few films at Sundance and Slam Dance over the years. Uh, Oscar winner Jim Rash, who's a screenwriter, but oh, he's just, a, just an Oscar winner. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but people at Sundance know him. He was also the writer and director of The Way Way Back. Yeah. Um, but as an actor, he was in Community. Um, uh, Bella, Bella Young, Young, Nancy mm -hmm. Travis, Richard Kind, yeah. uh, all kind of Jake O'Connor, Sasha Alexander, May Whitman, Alexander, Mae Whitman right. not too shabby. So it is. A, it's a great cast, and and because the the script was was so terrific and the and the character so great, uh, people just want, and I'm handsome. People just wanted to be in the movie, you know. So. Uh, it was a lot of fun to make, and, and we did four days rehearsal, which was which was a, a real luxury on any kind of independent film. Yeah. Now, Jake and Sasha, was it easy to flow with the comedy in this film? Was there any improv to it, or did you guys pretty much stick to the script? For my scenes, a lot of them were uh, very close to some of the original comic strips, so we kind of tried to keep it pretty close, but. Uh, but it was nice and having... And your scenes were shot on Super 16, on film, so we right. didn't have oh, a lot. Which makes it yeah. a little bit, yeah, a little No tighter. luxury to do a lot of improv on those. Yeah. But, but we did, yeah, I play a younger version of the character, mm -hmm. Huey, that David Koechner plays. So I did get to spend some time with him, which was really helpful, because he's very good and very funny, as most people know. And yeah. uh, that sort of helped to guide where I was going to go with it, because I knew what he was doing with it. and. Uh, and, yeah. play, and playing with those two guys is great. Like David and Jim both are so loose mm -hmm. and and um, and comedically just open that even though we stuck to the script, you still had space to kind of, you know, let it breathe and play around. Yeah. And and Dan shot a lot of like like it was like one like long take, so it felt like a play. 
Okay. Yeah. And the interesting thing is Pfeiffer himself got his start in uh, writing plays, working with Second City in Chicago, working with Mike Nichols and Elaine May and Alan I mean, Arkin. Just, yeah. So he really, was, <laughs> so he, he was like, oh yeah, improv, that's fine. <laughs> that's yeah. awesome. And then when is the film showing? It's the, it's the, it's the it's last closing, kicker for It's a for closing Slam night Dance. film at Slam Dance, which is uh, Thursday the 25th at 5.30, but it's also playing tonight Tuesday at 5 o'clock, all at the Treasure Mountain Inn, 255 Main Street, top of Maine. And uh, there's still tickets available, so uh, people should come. And then will there be a broader release later down on the line? That is the secret information that Ooh. might be being revealed today, later Ooh. today. But uh, yes, we've been talking. There has actually been a bidding war for the film uh, here in Park City. Congratulations. And, uh, and I think we, uh, we're deciding that today. So, um, But I can tell you that there will be distribution for the film. Yeah. Very exciting. Congratulations. That's Thank awesome. You. And then Sasha, where can people go to learn about you, figure out what you're doing? Because you're busy. You're you're not. You don't really have downtime. It seems like. <laughs> well, I'm. Yeah, I'm. You know, I'm not. I'm not. Um, well, I have. I have other little projects and films coming up this year. Um, another film called Ride that we're. That that that's coming out soon with Ludacris and um, very different film. A little different. <laughs> um, but uh, but yeah, I mean I, I don't know where can you go the internet. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> Jake, real quick, we got like ten seconds. Sure. Uh, I just did another movie that came out called Bachelor Alliance. Paul Bunch is the director. It's a great movie. Check it out. IMDb.